God's word is faster and powerful than a missile. Welcome to the seventh day of our journey from wilderness to Calvary. Dear beloved of God, have we ever realized the power of the word that proceeds from the mouth of God? Today, in the first reading from taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 10 to 11, we hear these words. God speaks to us. Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth and making it fertile and fruitful, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I send it. I repeat, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end of it, end for which I sent it. How true are these words of God, which were fulfilled in the lives of Nineveh. God wanted the people of Nineveh to change, for which God went to the extent of pulling back Jonah, who has escaped from this mission, and through him, God saves the whole people of Nineveh. When the word of God went through the mouth of Jonah to the people of Nineveh, right from child to the eldest, from the poor man to the king, everyone fasted, prayed, and then turned towards God. And God feels sorry for having thought of destroying Nineveh. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, God's word is powerful. It is powerful as a, it is much more powerful than a bullet, much more powerful than a missile, and much more powerful than UV rays which can travel and pierce through. In the gospel, we find a beautiful story of Lazarus. Lazarus was dead and was buried for three days. Jesus goes and stands in front of the tomb and says, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus, come out. Mind this word of God, which pierces from the, to from the stones to Lazarus, and every body, every organ of body of him was dead. And the word of Jesus brings life to every organ of the body. My dear brothers and sisters, the word of God pierces much more powerful than UV rays. The word of God is powerful and travels more powerful than a bullet. We have another beautiful example of a Canaanite woman. When a Canaanite woman comes to Jesus and asks for her daughter's healing from a demonic possession, Jesus tests her and she passes the test. And then Jesus tells her, go, your daughter will be healed. Even before, even before the mother goes to her house, her daughter is is saved from the illness. She was healed from the demonic possession. What a beautiful thing, my dear brothers and sisters. Even before the person could go, the daughter was already healed. The word of God, which was proceeding from the mouth of God, has already reached the daughter of this Canaanite woman. My dear brothers and sisters, the word of God is powerful. And today, during this Lenten season, the same word is spoken to us through different forms, through form of adorations, through the form of holy mass, through the form of different reflections given to us online, offline. But how many of us are taking advantage of this word and filling ourselves with the word of God? How much of this word of God is affecting us? My dear brothers and sisters, I think sometimes we are like these Pharisees and scribes who always ask God for a sign. Show us a sign. Lord, give us a sign. Perform a miracle in my life. Only then I will do this. I will do that. But God tells through the life of Nineveh. 
when they heard the word from Jonah, they not only fasted and prayed, they have also changed their lives. And that was a turning point for God to change his decision. My dear brothers and sisters, if our lives have to be turned, they should be, if you feel that my life, my God should be a turning point in my life, my life should change, transform the ways and attitudes that you are wanting to. Only then you can see the word of God piercing us, giving us healing and bringing us from death to life. If you like this small piece of reflection, kindly share, like and don't forget to contribute your small might for the promotion of this liturgy TV for which our brother Vijay is working hard to spread the word throughout the world. God bless you and have a wonderful day.